Okay, so there's a little bit of terminology that can get mixed up at this point. So you know you've got your mass number, that's the big number, that's the number of protons plus neutrons. There's another word that has the word mass in it. We'll come back to it. And then you have your atomic number. Now the atomic number is the numbers, it's just the number of protons. So it's protons only. And look, this word has the word atomic in it. And then just to make it more confusing, these both have the word number in them. So if it says number, so number and number, it can be used in this notation <coughs> or you get the number atomic or mass from that notation. If it doesn't say number, it means it's going to have to come off the periodic chart. Now, this number right here with the decimal, this will all, this, this, it's gonna have decimals. Um, that number is the atomic mass. Now there's the lower number here actually also comes from the periodic chart and it's right here. So atomic number is in two places. You can write it in that symbolism or you can look at the periodic chart and find it. Now, something else that could be confusing is when you're using the notation here, you're going to see that the atomic number is written in the bottom corner, but when you look at the periodic chart, it's written in the top. So to not get all confused on top, bottom, left, right, what I would say is when you look at the periodic chart, the number that doesn't have a decimal, that's the number of protons. And it's because you can't have half a proton or a fourth of a proton. You either have a proton or you don't. So it's always gonna be a whole number. So you look at the periodic chart, the thing that's a whole number, no decimals, is the proton. The thing that has some decimals, that's the atomic mass, and you're gonna to get to this information really soon, but it has to do with a weighted average of the isotopes. So those are all big words, but that's coming up in just a little bit. The reason that this is helpful to be written with the, high, the large number on top and the small number on bottom is because it's kind of easy to subtract like that. So that's another big hint. If, you're, if you can't remember, like, do I put the protons on top? Do I put the protons and the neutrons? So this number, needs to be a big number and this number needs to be a small number and you can see that holds true over here too we have a big number and then we have a small number so just keep that information in mind also now if we look again see that is the atomic number notice it's on the chart and then notice that this big number it's not on the chart there's a different kind of a number on the chart because that is the atomic mass it's not the same however what you should know is that this number is going to be kind of like close-ish generally to that number. They're going to be kind of a close number, at least if it's naturally abundant. Now we like to make all kinds of fake isotopes and they're not fake. They're real isotopes, but they, they are not found in nature. So when we're talking about the isotopes, we're not talking about, you know, some crazy expensive lab and someone decides to just see if it's possible to make something. We're talking about normal um, isotopes that you would find if you went and got a sample of it somewhere on earth. So remember, the little numbers, not the little numbers, but the numbers without decimals, those are all the numbers of protons. The numbers that have decimals in them on the periodic chart do not ever go in this thing. This never has decimals. They have to do with the atomic mass. Over on this one, this number needs to be big, this number needs to be small.